before we get started, I wanted to show you one thing. So right here, I'm wearing a band-aid on my finger. You can't see it, but I forgot to tell you about this earlier. So yeah, like I said, I got bit by the one rat. Um, but it is a liquid band-aid. So it is Friday and I just got home and showered. I was at my therapy appointment and then before that I was um, at work. So just got showered, combed my hair out and yeah, I'm just waiting for my girlfriend to get home because we are going to make some burgers. She's going to make a regular burger, I'm going to make a veggie burger and we're just going to hang out and um, enjoy the rest of our night and just relax. I'm so excited. It's been a long, long week and a really long day. So. Yeah, I figured I'd talk to you guys before she got home, but um, yeah, I was actually at therapy because I've just had a lot of anxiety about all my health problems, which I'll get into eventually. I'll finally I'll film the video eventually, just so you guys can kind of get a backstory as to what the heck I'm talking about. But you know, it's just nice to talk to somebody about you know my frustrations and whatnot. Um, so guys, don't ever be scared to go to therapy. Don't don't care about what people think if you're worried about that because it's really healthy. It's really good for you. Um, I've gone to therapy before, um, but I definitely needed to go to therapy with all my health issues. It's just weighing me down a bit. So, um, yeah, go to therapy if you need to. Talk to someone. If you don't want to go to therapy, definitely, you know, find someone that you can talk to. But sometimes it's nice because if you go to a therapist, that's like a their job. And you don't have to feel like you're inconveniencing someone and... Um, you can talk to someone who's not biased and who's, you know, um, yeah, someone who's not biased, so. Just a tip. Here, let me show you the kittens. Hi, buddy. <gasps> Look at you. Of course, you want to walk away. Look at Luke. You looking out the window? They have been loving this nice weather. We've had the windows open, so they each hang out by the open windows. Now he's back. Hi, bud. Oh, you love your mommy, huh? Oh. Oh, yeah, and here are my acrylic nails. I got them done a couple of weeks ago um, whenever I was gone. Not Easter week, but the weekend after that. I finally got them done. I was pushing it off because I, I spent way too much money, but I just decided that I didn't care. I deserve to have, you know, something nice. It cheers me up. It makes me feel, like, nicer to have them done. So, yeah, I was just like, I'm getting them done. I don't care. I'll keep up with them. Whatever. Because they also look so much nicer in videos. <gasps> look at my bud. I'm having so much fun hanging out with you. I just hit the, I hit the window and he freaked out. Look. No. Nope. Look at you, Luke. Yeah, in a less than a month, we are going to be moving. Or not less than a month, but like a little over a month. Michael's excited. He loves going to new places. He always freaks out when he has to go to new places and he does not like traveling in his carrier. He's all totally against that. Huh, bud? What are you doing? I don't even know what he's doing. Do you even know what you're doing, buddy? Oh, yeah. So he wants to run his head against that. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait to move. We're going to move in such a, nice, a nicer place and <laughs> we'll get that shot. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I will obviously be doing an apartment tour of that. I'm going to try to film it when it's empty and then do like before and after. <gasps> Buddy, you moved it up. See, this is why I'm so glad that I'm vlogging because now I have more videos of my cats doing stuff like this. Michael's actually my cat and then Loki back there. That's my girlfriend's cat. She's the evil one who thinks she's the queen of everything. And then Michael's the one that thinks he's a dog. <laughs> but he's so sweet and he likes to cuddle. She doesn't. She's like, get away from me. He likes to cuddle. So the kittens are eating now at about 6.50 in the morning because of this one right here. Let's do a close up. This cat was tapping my face, playing in the litter box, making so much noise. And woke me up, started tapping my face. So yeah, now I'm awake for the day. On a weekend. Granted, I have a lot to do as always, but I was hoping to at least sleep until like 7.30. Oh well, Michael was nice, he left me alone. 
So I just did my makeup and what I did was I got this cardboard or this piece of paper from Michael's. They have a bunch of different colored paper. And then I set all of the makeup that I used on it and then took photos of it. And I'm going to be posting a makeup of the day post on my um, Beauty Attic Next Door Instagram account. So that's kind of what I do. My window is right here. So the light's coming in this way. I don't have any other lighting on. And uh, I just set it right here so that way the light's right in front of the light. Showing all my, you know, I took a couple pictures, I uploaded them, made sure that they looked good, then it import, then sent it to my phone, then it put it through that Instagram app, um, and made sure that it fit in square, and then I'm good to go. So now I can put this all away, and I don't want to forget to put it away, because some of the stuff is like these single eyeshadows and this ColourPop sorb to liners open, and I don't want to leave that out. So I just finished doing my makeup, I took pictures of my makeup, and then I'm going to be putting that on Instagram today. Um, and then I got changed, so I'm just wearing like a regular t-shirt, which I forget where I got this from. It's from some t-shirt shop. I have to figure it out, but it has really funny sayings on it. Um, and then I will write it down below. I can't remember at the moment. It's way too early for that. Um, and then some jeans, and then I'll just have like my North Face, and then some like boots that I'm going to wear because... Like I'm going to probably tell you every Saturday whenever I'm vlogging, I'm going to the Animal Rescue League and I'm going to be volunteering. Today, I'm going to be working with um, in the rat room. So I'll be taking care of rats, cleaning out their cages, making sure they get food and water, um, then cleaning up the area and then just help out anywhere else that needs to be, um, you know, see if anybody else needs any help, go do dishes, laundry and stuff like that. So I'm just getting ready for that. And of course, I did like face of makeup I was like oh I'll just do something a little natural I'll just do a little bit of this a little bit of that and then I ended up doing like a full face I don't have any false lashes on though but yeah so I'm gonna finish getting ready maybe clean up a little bit you know because today I can be a little bit more relaxed I didn't have to do a makeup tutorial I um, don't have a ton of videos to film like I have to film them today I can film them some tomorrow so I think I'm gonna film one when I get home Maybe because I know that I've done my full face and makeup, I might as well, right? Um, so I'm, I may do that just to, you know, get ahead because I will be gone another weekend to see my uh, my dad and my brother. Um, so I want to make sure that I'm set for that weekend. So we will see. I keep doing that in all my videos. I was like editing my vlog and I keep doing this. So just, just bear with me. Also, I am trying to figure out how to organize my brushes and then like these need to be washed. So I put them in this walking dead cup because there wasn't any other cups. So beware of biters. Is That's where my, you know, vegan friendly brushes are in right now. So I'm trying to get my filming area set up while my girlfriend takes forever to get ready. We need to go. So she, she you need to hurry up. She's still in bed. We need to leave now. We need to leave now. I bet you were going to be late. I bet you. All right. Loser buys dinner. All right. So right here I have this bag filled with like just some recycling. So this empty tissue box, a wheat, empty wheat thins box, like all these empty boxes and toilet paper rolls are in here. Um, just like the actual roll, not the toilet paper. And then um, what I want to do is I'm going to donate, to donate to the Animal Rescue League Wildlife Center because they actually use these for like um, things called enrichment, which will help, you know, the animal. Can, can I finish vlogging? Can you stop interrupting me? I'm trying to interrupt me. I'm talking and she's like talking to me. Um, and yeah, so it helps them, you know, to not get so bored and stuff so they like run around here sometimes they like they hide their food in certain places and then they have to go and find them so and there she interrupts me again what are you doing she thinks rats are gross but they're not that gross they're kind of cute I look. and then there's mice too but yeah so we're working in the rat room today she's not excited i'm excited she wants to work with the owls, which I want to work with the owls too, but the rats are, need help too. And then right here I have this bag of pens because I have a million pens. And for some reason, we're always losing pens at the Animal Rescue League. So I'm just going to be uh, taking these pens too because I like to donate. What are you doing, baby cat? She's running around on the bed and filming her, so don't worry. We're capturing this moment. Look at how silly.
such a weird baby kid. Look at you. Look at that little face. So I just went to Target with my girlfriend and I picked up these this Ben and Jerry's ice cream. It's made with almond milk, so it's almond milk and so it's vegan friendly and you know, apparently cats like it too. Um, so I got car coffee caramel fudge non-dairy frozen dessert and it looks so good. So yeah, guys, if you are vegan, if you want to try vegan products or if you're someone who has some sort of lactose issue, this would be a great option for you to still enjoy ice cream. And it's Ben and Jerry's, so it's super nice. And also... Because I need almond milk um, ice cream, it gives me an excuse to get Ben and Jerry's and buy the more expensive ice cream. So that's another bonus. So super excited to try this. So I just got home from the Animal Rescue League. Uh, we worked in the rat room today and it didn't go so well at one point. Uh, one of the rats bit me. It was like the female rats, especially if they're mothers, they're very protective of their babies. So yeah, they were not very happy with me, but... Oh well, we put a little damper on it, but hey, we got through cleaning all the room, took care of everything, so we we're good to go. Um, and then we went to Target, um, like I said before, because I showed you a close up of my ice cream. But I'm super excited because we got a bunch of good stuff. Um, so I got that ice cream. What else did I get? Um, oh, I had to get more e.l.f. makeup wipes. I had to get um, some other stuff too. So it was nice to kind of just get everything that we needed. <laughs> Anyway, but I wanted to do like a little taste test of me trying out this new Ben & Jerry's um, ice cream just because I want to take a taste of it so I figured I'd film it. So before I dig into it again, this is what it looks like. It is the coffee caramel fudge non-dairy almond milk vegan friendly ice cream. That is so good. I haven't had ice cream in a while. I definitely haven't had a coffee ice cream in so long. That is some good stuff. And honestly, like, I've had, like, ice cream like this before that's, like, has almond milk in it or, it's, you know, it's lactose-free, and it's still good. Like, this is excellent. I want to eat more, but I have to eat lunch now, so I don't want to spoil it. So I'm going to go eat lunch. So I'm about to film a video for you guys um, on the Beauty Attic Diaries channel. So I'm filming, what am I filming? My April lifestyle favorites. And then if I have time, I'm going to go over my health issues. But before I start, I wanted to show you one thing. So right here, I'm wearing a Band-Aid on my finger. You can't see it, but I forgot to tell you about this earlier. So yeah, like I said, I got bit by the one rat. Um, but it is a liquid Band-Aid. I didn't know it existed. Apparently, this one's from Rite Aid. I don't know if you get it anywhere else, but don't, definitely look into that. It's so easy because then you can wash your hands with it. So I just finished filming my one video for the Beauty Act Diaries, which is just my April lifestyle favorites. So I just finished that, and I think I have enough time to film another one. So I'm going to go over my health issues with you guys and kind of give you a background story. So yeah, I'm going to do a video on that now. I'm going to change my top because I don't want two videos in a row of me in the same top. This is the time that I care about that. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and then once I'm done, I'm done doing that, we're going to go out for my girlfriend's birthday. So we're going to have a, go to her birthday dinner, and then we're going to go hang out, and then go out and to the bars and stuff. So, um, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, and I'm probably going to put, like, a pop of color on my lower lash line and do, like, some bright lipstick. We will see. Oh, yeah, and I mentioned this on Snapchat and on maybe one of my vlogs, or I mentioned on one of my vlogs that I was thinking about moving, but we didn't hear anything back yet, but we have. We're going to be moving into our new apartment. I'm so excited. It's going to be such an upgrade, and I cannot, cannot wait to decorate. So, um, yeah, I, didn't, I don't think I've told you guys this on my Pediatic Diaries channel, so, yeah, I'm so excited. You, probably, you might already know it based off my other channels and anything I say in my other videos, but... You know, um, I'm really excited to move. It's gonna be great. So we're looking into movers and like all that stuff. Um, it's gonna be so fun. I'm obviously gonna vlog it. I'm totally gonna vlog. Like I'm gonna try to hit vlog, um, like at the apartment empty, like film it empty, and then do like before and afters and stuff. So, so freaking excited. So I just finished filming my video on my health issues. I have to break it out in segments. There's no way to be able to go over everything with you guys on the video. So I'm breaking it out in segments. Um, but now I have such a huge headache. I don't know if it's because I was talking about it or what, but I got such a huge headache. So I was like, okay, this is already long enough. It's like probably gonna be like 20 minutes. I'm such a talker. But it's, I'm very detail oriented. You know, some people have bitched about it on YouTube, but I don't care. Fast forward if you want to get to other things. I don't know. Um... <laughs> but yeah, so 
I'm gonna like get my outfit together, maybe touch up, do some little different with my makeup to make it a little bit more fun for tonight. Um, so I'm gonna go do that now. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Whatever weekend that you're watching this or weekday, if you're watching that on a weekday, but or watching this on a weekday. Yeah.